everybody, my name is Lina and I'm here with Apex STEM Tutorials. Today we're going to be using the repeat block. Now the repeat block is basically a for loop. For those of you familiar, a for loop runs for a number of times, depending on the number you give it. Now let's go ahead and build an example on how to use the repeat loop. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Let's look at an example how to use the repeat loop. So let's say we have this program here and we're repeating these two steps over and over and over and over for 10 times. And what exactly do those steps do? Let's click on this flag and they make our sprite look like it's walking. Now let's say you wanted to repeat it for a hundred times. Are you going to copy this over and over and over again? No way. So the way to go ahead and repeat this a hundred times or 10 times without having to repeat all those code is to simply go ahead and grab a repeat block and put those two pieces of code in there. So now we're going to put in there, let's say we want it to go for a hundred times. If we just go ahead and zoom in for you guys, go ahead and replace all that piece of code with the two blocks we need inside the repeat block and we just make our character do what we need it to do. And it's going to walk, look like it's walking for a hundred times. So the repeat block is very, very helpful in making your code smaller, especially when you're repeating a lot of code over and over. All you have to do is put that code inside a repeat block and then repeat it for the number of times you want it. Let's look at another example. In this example, we're going to go ahead and make our character go across the screen and look like it's walking, like literally walking across the screen, not just there skipping. So let's go ahead and use this flag. Let me go ahead and build that piece of code for you guys. We're going to repeat. We're going to repeat it a hundred times here. We're going to go to here. We're going to change our X by 10. We're going to go ahead and wait for 0.2 seconds. your costume here. We're going to be using the if block. We covered the if block in another video so don't forget to check that. I'll link it below so you guys can see it. And we're going to do sensing. We're going to use this sensing. Let's see. I think it's this one. No, this one's not it. It's this one. When touching, when our sprite is touching the edge, we want it to go ahead and move Let's say we want it to move back here. So if you move your sprite, it will give you the coordinates where you want it, the X and Y. So I want it to move to those locations. And we're going to do that. Let's see. Go ahead and see what it does. So now, as you can see, the cat is walking, it's going across, and it's going to go ahead and touch the edge. And when it touches the edge, it should pop up back here. And now you can make a character look like it's moving on your screen forever and ever and ever. Well, not forever and ever, but for the number amount of time you need it, you put up here. So the cat will continue walking for a hundred times. So this code here will repeat a hundred times. So a repeat block, you basically use it just to repeat a code that you don't want to be repeating over and over by copying, and pasting, and copying, and pasting. You put it in the repeat block and then you set your number on top of the repeat area to whatever number you want that code to repeat to. And that's how you can make your character look like it's walking down the street or jumping or whatever you want it to do. Hope you guys like this tutorial and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!